بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا محمد عليه وصحبه وسلم هذا دي سيستر شميمه از ذا فيميل كوبريتر اوف فور ماس ان شاء الله فور اور تيم وات دو يو ثينك اباوت ذس بروجكت I think it's an amazing project. We got here to Jamarin, uh, to the containerized village. There's about 100 containers in each um, village, and it takes about five people approximately in each home. We got here, and subhanAllah, there were so many kids who came, and they were reading for us from the Quran. There were girls who could memorize the 40 hadiths for us. It was so, so beautiful. We had a chance to actually walk around the village and meet some of the women and, and talk to them. And, Subhanallah, we were just, as we were walking back to come here to the vocational center, which is just newly opened, we were just talking amongst ourselves of what it would it be like for us if this had to happen to us for two years or three years or however long, how many years to come here, leaving everything behind and then live in a small container in this one place, what would we do with our time? And one of the other sisters and myself were just saying, you know, we think we'd go insane, but Subhanallah, these women are so kind, they're so generous, they've brought us into their homes, they've made us feel so welcome, we feel like we're so honored, they've given us coffee and there's a connection, sometimes we don't maybe understand each other but there's this connection that goes beyond all of that, subhanAllah, we feel so touched and we feel blessed to be here and we ask all of you to please more than anything else make dua for them, make dua for that they can go back to their lives, you know, Alhamdulillah in Australia we have everything that we could ever, ever want. We are so very fortunate. We need to start thinking about our sisters over here in Syria and inshallah get together, let's donate and let's try and do something to make a bigger difference in their lives inshallah. Um, also, the one thing that I would really like to mention is Muslim Aid Australia was one of the first organizations to pro provide such a project today. I don't know if you've seen some of the sewing machines that they have. And before we've actually come here, Sheikh Hassan from Muslim Aid Australia has signed off on a, on a project to provide more sewing machines. So with Muslim Aid and Alim Dad Foundation, it's not just about giving food and giving immediate aid. Sheikh was telling us about sustainable development and that's what we need to look at. We need to be able to sustain people. and. Part of that project is to get these sewing machines. Inshallah, these women can start to sew. It'll occupy their times, but they can also try and actually make things to sell and they can make an income for themselves, and that's what we want. That's what these organizations are, inshallah, about, and, and we pray that Allah gives success in that, inshallah. Jazakallah, my sister, for the uh, insights. Alhamdulillah, Brahmin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us all tawfiq, inshallah, to continue um, helping our sisters, inshallah, to stand on their feet.